President Muhammad Buhari has given a new order on the issue of the PH guys. He has given a new order to the Nigerian military to do this to the PH guys. According to news reports today, President Muhammad Buhari gave a new order to the Nigerian army and ordered them to eliminate the BH guys totally. Earlier today, President Muhammad Buhari ordered that the armed forces should destroy the BH guys and leave no traces. The Nigerian president gave the directive in Abuja shortly after holding a meeting with Governor Maimala Buni of Yobi State. Buhari said he was satisfied with the giant stride being recorded by the armed forces in the fight against insurgency. If we could recall, the Bokos were severely injured by the armed forces, destroying 10 bases and leaving many injured. President Muhammad Buhari has directed that the Nigerian military totally eliminate these guys in the Lake Chad region and the entire Northeast by sustaining the ongoing counter-insurgency operations in the country. The Nigerian president gave the directive on Thursday, April 30th, in Abuja, shortly after Governor Maimala Buni of Yobi State paid him a courtesy visit. With this order, we can only hope and expect that sooner or later, the BH guys would be forgotten totally in Nigeria and countries nearby. The insurgent attacks has killed far more than the current pandemic outbreak in Nigeria. Buhari's directive seems to be sharp and precise this time around. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Based on uh, Buhari's uh, new order, according to reports that has fallen in today, he has given a direct order to the Nigerian military to totally eliminate the BH guys. One would ask, what were his orders before now, if he is just given the order for those guys to be eliminated? What were his orders before now is the question that we are asking. These guys have actually, you know, done so much havoc to Nigeria and the Nigerian citizens than you can imagine. For the past 10 years, if not more, they have held sewage, destroyed cities, you know, uh, destroyed camps, sacked people from their villages, this uh, disfigured or how do I put it uh, disunite people you know families that were once bonded and living together in peace you know and threw them into chaos it is so unfortunate that so many people lost their lives so many people suffered degrees of injuries as a result of the activities of these guys which has lasted over 10 years. But now that the chief of army staff, you know, have relocated to the northeastern part of the country and um, seen that the war against the BH guys are, you know, recording great success from what we are hearing. If the news filing in, you know, by the spokesperson of the Nigerian army is anything to go by, so guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular issue? What happens, we thought that at some point, it was being reported that Shekau was willing to negotiate for his um, handover. So what happened to that particular side of the story? Or that, you know, what would have happened? Did anything change? Did the government do anything? Or did the people actually, you know, did they do anything separate or different? Questions needs to be asked. We need to know what is going on. Because now that Buhari has given an order that these guys be totally eliminated, it could it have been that initially he wanted to uh, capture them alive or what were his plans? 
if he is just given the order for these guys to be totally eliminated these issues you know cause for worry and it's making us making people to actually ask questions you recall that the nigerian government you know have spent so much money on this particular war with the insurgents and also nigeria has spent so much money to fight these guys and to fight insurgency for the past 10 years countries have donated you know, Nigeria has spent so much money buying equipment, deployed, you know, armies and uh, soldiers to this part of the world and not eastern part of the country where the fight against the insurgents has been going on for the past 10, 11 years. So far, Nigeria has not recorded uh, the expected uh, victory, but be that as it may, from the look of things, it seems that uh, the Nigerian army are on track and doing the right thing after the Lake Chad um, troops, you know, the Chadian troops, you know, uh, went into the Sambisa forest to actually um, deal these guys a huge blow. So now that the Nigerian government are in the, uh, the Nigerian government have ordered the Nigerian army to eliminate totally what happens to the Chibo girls. And uh, that two girls who are still in custody, who it is, or in the, who are still under the, or, or who are still in custody of these guys, what happens to them? Although a lot of them probably would have, you know, uh, fallen in love with these guys and all what have you, and they may not uh, recognize their parents or their people, or may not want to come back home. So what happens to these people? How can they be rescued, or how will they be rescued? These questions need immediate answers. What were the orders of the Nigerian army prior to this time? Is another huge question that I would like to ask the president. If he is just giving them the go ahead to totally eliminate these guys, what have they been waiting for all this while? What strategy have they actually embarked or employed to handle these issues and deal with these insurgents? These issues are really, really uh, serious and are bothering a lot of people. Guys, what were the instructions or the orders of the Nigerian army led by Lieutenant General uh, Buratai, Tukur Buratai? What were the uh, orders all these years? Because if Bari is just giving them an uh, order to actually eliminate these guys, now, it probably would mean that somehow they had different orders before now. And don't forget that a lot of Nigerian soldiers have been killed in this battle while some have actually absconded and while some have actually, um, you know, resigned willfully from the Nigerian army as a result of the threat that this particular guy's issue posed to them. So be that as it may, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular new story? Is Mr. President on the right track? Now that he has given them the go-ahead to totally eliminate, will they go ahead and, you know, truly eliminate these guys? That is another question. Or will they come back, allow these guys to leave so that, you know, the usual, probably the usual way of getting money would still be coming? You know, because reports has ha uh, reports had it, you know, that these guys were actually, you know, making money or being used to make money for and to generate funds for the running of the affairs of the BH guys. So it is quite pathetic and unfortunate that situation have actually turned to what it is at the moment. Something needs to be done urgently. We hope that. The Nigerian army and the Nigerian soldiers will be able to win this war convincingly and not coming to tell us that the, the BH guys have been technically defeated. So it's what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Does the Boratai led army have what it takes to totally eliminate Shekau? Or what do you think could happen at the end of the day?
Be that as it were, drop by the comment section let us know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get a notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.